financial organization New Dawn is accusing Oakland City Councilor Miranda Kamei of defamation. In a recent interview, the councilor had described the organization as, quote, a fraudulent pyramid scheme. The organization seems to have fought back with more than just lawyers. The councilor's private life was recently revealed when medical records of the councilor's transgender treatments were mysteriously released to the media. A spokesperson for New Dawn said that the organization had nothing to do with the leaked medical records and in her statement accused Councillor Kamei of desperately seeking attention. The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DedSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Keepster Merchant! <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death. Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DedSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. can't let them do this! Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. It's just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. And maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this. There's a lot of crazy shit beneath the surface. You know that or you wouldn't be here, right? You could say that. Well, having you here, getting followers to download our app, going public with all this, it'll be good to start seeing what the hell's going on. Yo, come to see the magic happen? I'll let you watch while I do my thing. If you wanted magic, maybe you should be watching me work. Ho-ho! 
Did Luke ride on Yoda's back? I think not. I was always more of a Lando man myself. Owned the Millennium Falcon, ran Cloud City, blew up the second Death Star. Killer mustache. Killer mustache. I'm more of a chewy guy myself. Rips off arms, handy with a hydro spanner, more hair than an 80s Greek porno. <laughs> I can see that. Do you want to? I still have some old tapes. Uh, I'm good. Marcus, guys, the sight of your driver trailer just dropped. Oh, yeah, sweet. Hey, don't watch it without me. <laughs> Meet you at the hacker's ways. I'm on my way. Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote a new book of his art and a brand new fashion line, including t-shirts, caps, and bling. Very exciting stuff. Have you seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, 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 pull it up, no, man. No, no, not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. Right. We need quiet. Have you seen it yet? No, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're going to watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. In a world where technology connects everything. I'm not looking for justice, goddammit. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. A simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber disaster. Cyber Driver. Hit him with the code for a chip. Jimmy Siska is. Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me, or die. Devon Von Devon. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devon. They're just script kiddies. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber, Cyber Driver. Action hero, badass. Talking car, admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is going to help us do it. For real? Would not have us a ton of followers. Yo, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec, and we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No, uh, let them. Don't worry, Cyber Child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios, we are holding you solely responsible for the threat that is Cyber Driver. Cyber Driver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence, and that we can't excuse. It seems like you could do with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, we'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set.
Sorry. You guys thought that movie was gonna be good? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. They're fun to laugh at. Cool. You said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know you're trying to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, man. Keep your goats. Why would Galilei allow their name to be sullied? You mean cyberized? You can keep trying, but it will never be funny to me. I'm not gonna lie. If those scenes were what they chose for the trailer, yeah, the rest of it's gonna be jack shit. And why they chose to target DedSec is curious. Well, Chicago was a big deal. True. Anyway, don't worry. You and me are prowling the information highway to seek out our own cyber justice. Look, Josh, we're gonna have fun with this. And I promise I won't say cyber anymore. You know, after this, the cyber world will never be the same. <laughs> And there it is, Hook Motion Picture Studios. It's cool! Hey, look, I'm worried she's overtraining you. Yep, you're not the first one to say that. Look. It's no prop! Waiting is the hardest part, man. It's been a day now. I don't want to start it. Okay, seriously, what happened? Okay, guys, I'm in.
We've been here for hours listening to the same stupid scene. Jesus, I can say the line fucking backwards. Stop it. Up, it's just a signal again. You can't just check it out. Shoot. So we have a bunch of pickups to do. And the dude totally doesn't right. show up again. Mr. Genius is using the stand-ins. Where'd they get this director from? Oh, Christ. Did you hear... Here we go. Nice. The not-so-secret emails.
Hang on. I found it. We got the full script of Cyberdriver. What about the car? I don't think it's on site. We'll find it. I'm heading out now.
Spread out and find him. Hey guys, I found an email that says the car is being delivered to a location, but doesn't say where or when. That's okay. I think I have a backup plan.